I wanna show you how easy it is using your phone as a camera source into Ecamm and actually how good a quality it is as well. Now, what I wanna show you first of all is requiring the latest version of Mac as I record this, Ventura, and your phone needs to be up to date as well, but you should be doing this anyway. And some of you have already been saying to me this weird thing that whenever your phone's on your desk or it's near your laptop, it kind of kicks in and it's asking to use it as a camera. Well, this was a really good update that Apple introduced to us of the continuity camera, they call it. And the idea is more and more people are getting uh, on Zoom calls and we're all sitting with these phones at the side of us and not such a good camera that's built into our webcams. And so uh, a really clever idea that actually we can connect our phone and without any messing around, as soon as we put it near here, we select it as a camera and away it goes. Now, in the last video that I did, I showed you how to bring in your phone and share the screen. And I'm going to put into practice now and use it here. So this is me connected up with a cable. Don't get confused between the two things here. I just want to show you where you can find these settings. If you go into general and you have airplay and handoff, you'll notice at the bottom there is now a setting that says continuity camera. If you turn it off, maybe you don't want to use your phone as a camera and it's driving you mad that every time you put it on the desk, it's doing this. That's where you turn it off. If you do want to use it, you turn it on here. And what you'll see is inside of Ecamm, under my cameras, it should show you, well, it's not gonna show you Aidy's iPhone, but it should show you your iPhone in here. And um, because I'm connected up, what you're seeing through now is my iPhone, not the camera, just the screen. If I change this over and I select, so let's come down to this overlay here. In fact, why don't we use this one and change this camera over? So if I select over here, it's not seeing it. Hang on a second, let's just put this into the switcher. Aidy's iPhone camera, let's pop that in. Uh, notice what it's doing over here, that's good actually, that because I've now selected my camera, Aidy's iPhone camera, it's saying to me that it's connected to the Mac Mini. You can see what's going on on my phone right there. So I'm selecting Aidy's iPhone camera. And it's laying on the desk, so you're not gonna see anything. But uh, here you go, this is the feed coming through from my phone. Not bad. Now we have some options on here. The way you get to the options, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You really do, obviously if you're doing this, you're gonna wanna have a stand. I'm just using this small little thing as a temporary stand for now. I would get a proper desk mounted one if you plan on using this as a camera. Obviously you could be having this set up as well as maybe like a top down camera or something like that. For now, I'm just gonna slide this in and um, let it sit in a pretty much the same place as I would normally have right in here. But really sharp, isn't it? That's great detail and quality. Now let's just come across, how do we get into these extra settings and things? Up in the top right corner here, near the date, you've got your control center, and you should see it like this, uh, something similar to this anyway, your video effects. So we've got the effects turned off. In fact, why don't we come back, we could lose that for now. Um, I'll come back to the front scene, and uh, let's just change this one over to iPhone camera. <laughs> Definitely looking a lot more colorful on here. I don't know which is the true one. Uh, let's come to these settings, video effects, and what I can do, it's telling me that it's charging. There's a bit of information there on what your battery is. That could be quite useful. Center stage. There's a trade-off in this. Let me just show you what it is, and then we'll talk it through. So I can select, it's all grayed out, all the Ecamm Beta, Center Stage Portrait Studio Lie. Have I got to change it over here? Ah, I don't know why it's come back. I don't know what just happened then. That just uh, told me these were all grayed out and unavailable, and then it's just come back in without me doing anything. Who knows? Center Stage. So obviously if I move around in this, um, I'm gonna go in and out of the shot. Center Stage will use the wider angle camera, but bring it back in. It's zoomed in on the wide angle camera, but look what it does. As I move around, it will actually track with me. And so for some of you, if you were needing to stand up and demonstrate things, walk around your office, 
this has got a pretty good reach of tracking you and uh, following you around, but it's definitely a trade-off in terms of the quality on here, isn't it? Let me, all I need to do to take this off is to click it again and it will untick it. And that takes me back to the original. Definitely a lot sharper because it's using one of the other cameras in the back. Then there's a portrait effect. Um, blur in that background. Again, I'm not a fan of these because it's, it's they're, they're never really accurate. It's sort of blurring my glasses. But if you want that, it's there. Again, tick it on, turn it off. Um, studio light. This one's quite nice, actually, that just makes that a little bit more. It's actually truer to what it is in here. Um, and then you've got this desk view, actually. So you can see that this camera is right here in front of me. It's not looking down at my desk at all. But if I select desk view, it opens up this other uh, app or this other window on here. I need to just tilt it forward slightly. But without having this, let's try and get it maybe back a bit. All right. I just want to, I'm thinking of catching my keyboard in here. Um, so here I am and I'm looking forwards at this camera, but when I start desk view, uh, that's turned it around. So it's, it's almost as if it is a bit weird and distorted, but what a good easy way for you to be able to share that overhead camera if you want to. Um, let's pull it back to where it was. This is the iPhone 12 Pro. Um, they really have up the game with the cameras that are in here. For a lot of you, you know, this is a fantastic upgrade and a way for you to take your cameras up. The things that I don't like with it is just the, the way that it's kind of all auto. And if I pull my green screen up, I'm pretty sure that will make me go quite gray on there and things like that. In fact, I'll show you. That's just not done bad at all. Normally with these webcams, when you bring it up, the color really changes when you bring a green screen in behind you. That hasn't. So yeah, that, that's how you bring your phone in as a camera and do a very nice job with it. I would keep it connected with a cable anyway, just so you've got power to it. Doesn't necessarily have to be plugged into this, but I, I would have it plugged in. Just it, it will drain the battery on your phone quite quick. If you don't have this continuity camera available to you, we're still connected over here. Let me just change this camera back to um, my front. Man, I look grey on that. <laughs> but actually, I think this is probably more true to how I am right now. But the alternative then, if we were using our phone, what I can do again, let's come up to this front one here. And um, this is still picking up the continuity. What I should point out is if you want to, you can pause this to stop it using the camera. If you hit disconnect, it's going to kick you out. You're going to lose it as a camera source up here. Your camera isn't there anymore. You are going to need to just go back into those settings. Your airplay and handoff, turn it off, turn it back on again. Seems to kick it back in. Look, now you can see in my list, I've got the, the camera come back through. So if you do disconnect it and you can't get it back in again, that's where you go back into the continuity camera flick it off, flick it back on again, and you'll get it back. Now, if you haven't got that, it's an older phone or you're not upgraded, you can use your phone. I've got it connected again here with a cable and you could just bring your camera through. If I were to just turn on my camera though, notice what happens here is that I get all these overlays going on. I get the, uh, as soon as it sees a face, it's gonna put a yellow box around it that's not cool and yes we could crop into the edges but we're still going to see the overlays so i would recommend that you use an app like shoot that you can get from the app store i'll put a link to it down below and this will give you a clean feed come through and actually with this app i can tap on here i can choose between the three cameras that i've got it'll allow me to change those around one of them being the rear facing actually sorry or front facing um and then i've got this one which is my wide this one and this one that's a bit scary close. <laughs> so a really good app. And if I were to go up onto this front scene here and all we're doing now, we've just completely taken over with this. And so again, 
when I put it around this way, we're using that same camera, the same uh, quality coming through. But if you don't have access to the continuity bit, this is the older way of doing it. Still very good, very affordable, this app. This is what I would be doing. All right, so two nice ways of using your phone as a very high quality camera and feeding it through this way. The other beauty with the continuity is it's wireless. I'm not quite sure what the range is. I wouldn't go too far from the computer, but um, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? Well, let me know in the comments, uh, is that working for you? Uh, are you using this? I think it's a really cool feature and a great way to upgrade from a webcam. So go and have a look at that. Uh, if you haven't seen our other videos talking about sharing screens and doing other cool things in Ecamm, uh, be sure to check out the playlist that we've got for you on that. And I look forward to working with you in another video.